Corporation had merged with Balti Aircraft Corporation of Downey, California. We were known by the letters CVAC. Later, the name was changed to Convair because it was easier to use in conversation and correspondence. Now to get a quick picture of Convair as it is today, it's probably easiest to think of five basic divisions. First, there are the San Diego aircraft plants, which we've already covered. Second, there's the astronautics division, also located in San Diego. Here, behind closely guarded doors, we're doing classified work on the Atlas, Convair's intercontinental ballistic missile. division is the Convair plant in Fort Worth, Texas, and even aircraft plants grow big in Texas. It was here in this mile-long building that the celebrated B-36, the world's first truly intercontinental bomber, was built. B-58 Hustler, America's first supersonic bomber, has taken its place on the Fort Worth assembly line. The Hustler is another Convair product designed to keep America in the forefront of international aviation. Convair's fourth basic division is the Aerophysics Laboratory in Dangerfield, Texas. This laboratory is devoted to the study of pure and applied science. As aircraft continue to fly higher and faster and farther, the application of physics to flight must not only keep up, but it must stay at least one jump ahead. Highly specialized testing and experimental equipment like supersonic wind tunnels, ramjet engines, high altitude testing equipment and similar devices are in daily use in this aviation tomorrowland. Convair's fifth basic division is here in Pomona, California, where guided missiles are manufactured. Most famous of these missiles is the Navy's Terrier, a deadly sea-to-air missile now operational on many of the newer fighting ships. In addition to these five basic divisions, Convair employees are scattered everywhere at special projects we call off-site bases. These are places where our aircraft and missiles are put through their paces. Here at Convair's Palmdale facility in the California Mojave Desert, the Air Defense Command's F-102 Daggers and F-106 Darts are put through their Air Force acceptance tests. Firepower tests of the F-102 and F-106 armament systems are conducted by Convair's weapons experts at the Holloman Air Development Center in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Ray, suppose you tell us about some of the other General Dynamics companies. Sure, I'd be glad to. This map will give you some idea where these other companies are located. Here is the Electric Boat Company. They've been building submarines for years. In fact, the new atomic-powered submarines, the Nautilus and the Sea Wolf, were built at Electric Boat. Canadair Limited is a Canadian subsidiary of General Dynamics. They're the outfit building the Canadian version of the Sabre Jet. At the other end of the line is Electrodynamic Corporation in Bayonne, New Jersey. They're pioneers in the electric motor industry, the oldest company in the General Dynamics group. Stromberg Carlson is another one of the famous names in the General Dynamics family. It's been a leader in the radio and electronics fields for years. The main plant is in Rochester, New York, but there's also a plant right here in San Diego. Ray, let's not forget another General Dynamics division located right here in San Diego, General Atomic. It's devoted to the development of peaceful use of atomic power. It's located here in the new John J. Hopkins Laboratory where nuclear reactors are built and tested. 
newest General Dynamics division is the Liquid Carbonics Corporation. It is the country's largest producer of carbon dioxide, of great importance in the expanding missile field. General Dynamics has worked out a plan of industrial diversification geared to the future, the peaceful atomic future. This overall diversification makes the different divisions, like Convair, less vulnerable to any economic recessions because of shifting world conditions. And that's plenty important to any employee, new or old. It means he can feel just that much more secure in his job. Convair, as a division of General Dynamics, can stand economic disturbances much better than Convair alone could stand them. What this all adds up to is that, as Convair employees, we have more security while we're also building for the future. A future which we can shape for ourselves in a vigorous, far-sighted company. That was very well put, Ray. And for the most of us, that future is right here in San Diego. Which is a mighty good place to live. Good for us and good for San Diego. Say, I understand that Convair adds many millions of dollars a year to the city's economy. I can believe that. Convair employs more people than any other industry in San Diego. It certainly seems that way when you're trying to get out of the parking lot during a shift change. But we would have enough space if everyone pooled their cars. The rider driver desk in the employee service building can solve anyone's transportation problems. You can find a driver or riders going to or coming from every part of the San Diego area. Convair has reserved special close-in parking lot space specifically for their use alone. Any Convair employee in the market for a house or apartment to rent or anxious to buy or sell a house can enlist the aid of the housing desk. It's just another example of the way Convair employees cooperate and help one another for their mutual benefit. Speaking of mutual benefits, I know I was pretty happy to learn that Convair had a group insurance and retirement plan when I came to work here. It's about the best example of employee management cooperation I've ever heard of. It all goes to show what can happen when you get nearly 100% of the people pulling together on an insurance program like ours. There are a couple of things we might bring out, though. Every Convair employee gets the first $5,000 of life insurance paid for by the company. Now, he can get more than that if he wants to, but he has to pay for it. And the rates are very reasonable on that extra coverage. Don't forget the dependents. Well, that's right, Ray. A Convair employee's dependents are eligible for coverage, too. You have to sign them up within 30 days after you've been hired, otherwise it'll be necessary for them to take a physical. Now, if you have any questions on insurance and they aren't answered here in these pamphlets, just ask at the insurance desk in Employees Services.